Van Son, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, vamos. Okay, I wonder if those four people that were waiting are still going to be waiting, but on the wrong um, thing. Okay, we're live. We've got uh, two viewers. Have you got a uh, connection? Uh. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess we can start um, whenever the teams are decided. So it looks at the moment that, excuse me, team one will be Borg, Camellius, Unknown Player, and uh, for Prey versus Valorant, Kirstikatur, Bodica, and Phoenix Desk. Um, how come Valorant doesn't have a rating? Because, uh, well, sometimes there is a bug uh, in lobby when uh, they don't get it uh, often, or it is possible to, to modify in mod uh, so that uh, it, uh, it doesn't appear. It's also possible. Ah, okay. So, <laughs> Camellius is asking that Valorant is not allowed to play as Ptolemies. Um, well, if people can be Britons, then... I don't see why Ptolemies would be disallowed. So, uh, as we're a commentary team, I suppose, uh, what, what are your thoughts on the teams? Yeah, well, I balanced them, so I tried oh, okay. to do my best. <laughs> I, I, I tried to do my best, but I like, I'm not sure, because like the top four players, they are, they are well-placed because... Uh, like Borg is the best in the room. Valorant uh, is the second best, uh, like uh, like uh, normally. And then uh, uh, Chester, let's call him uh, Chester, is uh, <laughs> Chester. probably yeah. Let's call him uh, Chester is yeah. probably the third best. So so then uh, we we just do it like that with Camus uh, being the fourth best. But apart okay. from that. The four of the players, it's difficult to, to, to really place them. Okay. Like, uh, because uh, I saw uh, some good, good things from uh, a non player and Bordica sometimes, but yeah. sometimes they can also uh, be uh, like uh, not the best level. Well, okay, let's, um, let's wait and see. What, do you, uh, what are the various civilizations that each of them, uh, from your experience, tend to use? I know. Valorant is very good with Ptolemies. He really booms uh, pretty quickly. And we've got three players playing as Britons as well. Camellius using Romans and Borg has left. Yeah, Borg, <laughs> I think it's his connection. I think so. We are going to wait for him, I think. Okay, that seems uh, fair I, enough. I'm checking the lobby. Yeah, he is so disconnected from lobby. So it, maybe it's a problem from his connection. I think we should wait uh, at yeah. least two minutes. Okay, unknown player is asking people to watch on YouTube, so please do that. Just now. Um, okay, she's back. She's back. Okay, Borg is back. So, um, I'm interested in Camellia's playing as Romans. They're, I don't know. I find them a bit kind of bland as a civilization. They're, I think, they don't, they don't have the same kind of booming ability that's really helpful in these kind of. Um, games with uh, quite a low pop and um, with a lot of players where speed is is really uh, essential. Pretty much any of the civilizations that have the the, the houses that give you ten uh, population and take that a little bit longer to make, I find are a bit of a disadvantage. But um, what are your thoughts on that? Yes, this is true. So this is uh, exactly why I'm writing the the chat history to see if he really picked this sieve. I mean, it's uh, like it's a uh, fine sieve, but uh, it would be weird from for Camus to pick it. Uh, basically, the Romans, yeah, they they don't boom as well, but they 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 still do some things uh, quite good. So even if they are not the best tier, they are good tier because their uh, spear cavalry can. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I'd uh, say that's thing. yeah. It's the one thing I'd say they do have in their advantage. Certainly, the the spear cavalry. If you can get a load of those, then they just take out women pretty much instantly. So yeah, you can cause a lot of damage to people's farming and quickly run away. And I also 
that you've got a good array of siege weapons, but it's just a case of whether they can actually get to use them at any point. Yeah, and also they have a little buff for siege weapons. So if I remember correctly, they have a 10% uh, damage bonus. Oh, do they? I didn't realize that. Yeah. No, I'm, um, I'm trying to look at uh, a bit more of the the quirks that the different uh, the different civilizations have. Um, been yeah looking at that recently, uh, and there have been some really interesting things. Like I've forgotten exactly what it is, but uh, Roman allies get a bonus when they're fighting in Roman territory or something along those lines. It's a really um, yeah quite obscure um, bonus to have, but it's well, those those little things like that that civilizations have can be um, yeah really helpful assuming they're actually implemented because there's a few things that I've seen and I thought oh that looks really good and then it's well, not implemented actually yeah, I think that uh, this Roman bonus you described isn't uh, implemented but they have another nice bonus for their allies is that uh, they, their train time for their uh, citizen units is uh, lower so that's good wow. for their uh, yeah that's that is good very for helpful. their uh, boom yeah yeah. yeah, because I know Britons give some kind of bonus around um, healers, uh, which um, could be, and in fact, we can have a look while we're waiting for that. <clears throat> I'll show people. So here, the Britons, yeah, 20% resource cost off for allied healers. Um, is there anything else that they have that's particularly interesting? Not, um, not so much. Is no, that... they... They don't really have nice team bonus, like uh, they kind of play for themselves, I guess. Yeah, they're, but they're starting with slingers <clears throat> can be such a, an advantage anyway. Um, with this, it's the fact you can get those slingers and I've seen rushes very, very quickly that just kill off opposition almost um, before it's begun because you've got that extra range um, on skirmishers. And you can just um, produce so many so quickly because you don't need the wood. Um, so they they can be very good in that sense. Um, just looking at what Gauls offer, because they're very similar. Um, they give you 10% research time for your technologies, for all your allies. So that's um, yeah, interesting, I suppose. Romans are going to give, yeah, 20% off the training time for your allied infantry. That's very helpful. And... Macedonians one. This, yeah, I thought I saw something very interesting about this. So you get extra twenty percent on your selling prices at market, which would be actually really helpful in a team game. It could be very useful, particularly for fighting over resources. And this other one, here, yeah, this military reforms. I don't know. Do you know if that's implemented? Where every time you build a barracks or a subsequent barracks to your first barracks, you get free random military units with it. Uh, five military units per barracks. Like uh, which which civilization? Uh, Macedon. Yeah, that's another uh, bonus that isn't implemented. I guess. Ah, oh, that's a shame because yeah. that would be, yeah, that would make them really interesting. The combination of that and the uh, the siege workshop, I think, it would make me not necessarily want to play as them myself, but would like someone to have that on my team. So, I think it's often the way that someone has to suck it up. I don't particularly like playing as Iberians, but I do like having uh, Iberians as teammates for the uh, the prices off of the skirmishers. Okay, we need... So, Camellius has gone for Morians. That's even more surprising to me than going as... Um, yeah, because, Romans. like, I think they are, they are going into uh, some kind of... Uh, a bit of troll uh, talk uh, because uh, there's more that task uh, that uh, players uh, take uh, random. Then okay. uh, they kind of uh, ban banter uh, each other uh, if they have uh, balls or not. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So in the end, we have uh, Canius that takes uh, Morians and etc. It's... Yeah, it's a, that's, it's a bold move. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, although the elephant. Uh, like the worker elephant can be really, really useful there for um, if you can then get some cavalry, you can hunt 
around your opponents by steal their hunt as well as constantly harass them and be able to be getting food and depositing things as well and also you can move some uh, infantry up to support and they can you know uh, gather wood and all kinds of things so they do have interesting possibilities with them yeah anyway and uh, yeah no the game is starting okay the game is starting so hopefully we can find out um what is my sieve overlay i'm using it's so much better than the default i've got no idea um do you have the thing in the drone the right uh, screen i have to what uh, sorry like do you have the overlay in the bottom right oh this yeah the fgod mod yeah yes that's very um useful okay so we got the morians i'm just focused at the moment um uh, on on valorant who drew the morians how unlucky so he's playing in the the purple yeah then at about uh, eight o'clock then we have let's just go round clockwise from there playing as the romans we have bodica um in the orange at about 10 o'clock so 11. it's actually uh, against uh, valorant so they are both uh, enemies uh, oh they're enemies you, is that where the yeah, fighting line yeah, is they're enemies yeah Ah, okay, so that's interesting. So that area there, that's going to be where we've just got some goats. Um, that is going to be one of the key battlefields. And equally then, presumably on the other side between um, Borg, who drew the Britons. Oh, this is a bit unfair. Um, and he's up against yeah. Phoenix Desk, who's also got the Britons. I think that could be an interesting one, just to see how quickly one... Uh, produces uh, compared to the others so Borg has started pretty much put everyone to gathering wood and has got uh, just uh, six women gathering food and has gone for the berry upgrade but he's sending everyone else basically to collect wood um, he's not, yeah. and he's already started producing slingers and we're only just over very a minute classic, in uh, very classic build order Except that, yeah, he builds stringers uh, quite early for safety, or maybe if he wants to, to rush later. Yes, yeah, so he's got... Um, whoa, um, the goats uh, are making quite a lot of noise there. Uh, so just slightly to the north of that, um, in the red we have uh, yeah, Frazy for prey. He's, he's yeah, already see. got... Um, he started producing cavalry, so he may well be about... Um, looking to, to pull a rush together at some point and he's now paused the game um, so yeah. I'm up now looking at Camellius as the Morians he's got PSD? let's have a look PSD. yeah he's produced only women at this stage of the game uh, he's just got his one cavalryman collecting the chickens oh no I'd take that PSD? back sorry he's done what we were um mentioning earlier he's taken his worker elephant out towards uh, his borders and has got cavalry um, sort of uh, killing the goats there yeah yeah Camillus uh, he will probably rush like uh, yeah he will rush Camillus it's okay. like he took the the Morgans but he, he knows uh, what he wants to do with them anyway because uh, it's very easy to take the ant and make cav and yeah you can be guaranteed uh, that, okay uh, he will yeah. So he's also, he's, I think he's asked the elephant to build a house, but hasn't actually set it to do it. Oh, it's just doing it now. So it is there. Okay. Um, I'm just going to quickly look into the south where we can see, yeah, see in the yellow, we have unknown player also playing as Britons. He's yeah, already, see. no, he hasn't. Oh, sorry. I thought I was going to say he's produced his, um, produced some, slingers but he's not produced any so far and he's also not actually produced much in the way of cavalry um just one additional no, just, cavalry yes he's still uh, starting now he will take the shunt because he's uh, making the farmstead yeah. yeah so he's got the farmstead which is being built out this is a very good play just to make sure that there's the minimum distance possible that you have to transport that meat and the good thing about and goats is they don't run away yeah, and you can notice that uh, he's making a double storage uh, strategy. Yes, the so the storehouse, that's also, yeah, that's going to be very, very efficient. 
Although doing that quite so early, like yeah, know. it's a it's a bit it's a bit of a waste of food because uh, yeah, she should uh, invest it uh, in something else. I think. Yeah, because it's a hundred wood. That's um, well, that's potentially toward, that'll get you five slingers. So um, it's quite early, but I mean, as a as a general rule, yes, I I I like the idea of having these multiple drop sites to keep the resources coming in more quickly but it seems quite early to me and he's yeah. already producing a barracks as well i don't that's this is very very quick um if we have a look uh red is going in yeah. towards um phoenix desk so uh and phoenix desk looks he's he's tried to fortify his northern border um he could do with putting his cavalryman inside the... Okay, he's just lost it. They would have been better off putting his cavalryman there inside the uh, civic centre. It would have been able to shoot just as far. Um, yeah. Okay, he's doing that now. He's So on his northern border with um, with Borg... Bear in mind, let's have a look at their population. You can check, uh, you can check the other side where Camus is uh, attacking with Bordica. So there are two, there are two versus one in uh, oh, one. Wow. Oh, that's very nice. So Valorant's trying to get everything away. That's a nice combination of the um, the range cavalry and the spear cavalry. I'm not sure. Can the elephant actually garrison inside the um, civic center? I don't. I don't know if it can. Okay, so action all over the place. But very, very good play from Valorant. Do you see how quickly he brought out his um, his female so uh, citizens there to carry on gathering resources so they're still getting wood and yeah, he's going to attempt to get his cavalry to yeah and he's done a good job again he's just stopped them uh always attracted those uh cavalry that were going to knock down his house well, they were going to yeah, capture the house and knock it down and then he's done well there this is making me uh, regret my last positive change because uh, like there was a uh, huge damage on Valorant, and that's uh, very bad for this team because uh, they can uh, 2v1 uh, efficiently Valorant. Uh, then that's a problem because uh, Borg is also expected to win his side, so that will be uh, quite difficult, I think, for Team Two. Yeah, I think you're right. It's um, it's it's going to prove difficult if they can do that, but it depends on how much it's affected each of their development. If we look at the thing, I mean, Valorant, wow, he's, that has been absolutely crippling. He's down to only a population of 23. Um, whereas, although Bodica's only at 28 himself, and if he takes out these cavalry, which it looks like he's going to do now, so if he manages to take out the cavalry, then all the, um, pretty much everything that uh, Bodica has is... It's just the uh, female citizens and a couple of skirmishers. He's not. He's not got a lot. Going, yeah, so. I, am, I am searching for Camus cavalry because I don't know where uh, he left. Uh, so, maybe yeah. he maybe he lost them. I am going to check the stats. No, they're eating eating the goats. They're hunting goats at the moment up in the north. So. Oh yeah. yeah. But there's only three of them there. Are the others? Yeah. He's producing more yeah, though. See? But he's got a nice mixture of um, soldiers he's done well he's taken advantage of these extra berries that he's got and oh it was it was in the body classic center so now uh, he's chasing uh, oh. the the cavalry of valorant so oh, wow, he can right. do that damage yeah okay valorant's in trouble now those could easily be that could be game over for those cavalry he's doing well to move them around and just uh one died and i think that could be yeah big trouble if you um if they garrison inside um, one of their allies' civic centres, do they still have their um, their health restored? I think so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's that's good. It would make sense for them to basically use um, Bodica's civic centre as effectively a place where they can just yeah you know, launch attacks against Valorant. I mean, Valorant's playing very aggressively because he's, he's still searching out the map. If I'm just going to look at it from just his perspective. Yeah, he's seen... Uh, there's a group of um, what looked like it might have been just women, but it's actually got 14 archers amongst them. So he he gave up on that. But I think, well, 
he's he's in he's in difficulty certainly. Um, he yeah. does have a second yeah, group of um, cavalry that he's done very well with, which are hunting. But yeah, he's see? down to quite small with just these five cavalry at the top. But yeah. He's, yeah, he's he's getting trapped uh, by yeah. by Camillus basically. He's uh, he's playing well. Yeah, Camillus oh, is doing very he... well. Well, I think. Yeah, the problem is that Camus didn't uh, stop his unit uh, soon enough, so very want uh, just at the time to basically uh, uh, like uh, do his formation and uh, yes, sneak yes. Uh, out. Yes, yes. He has just made it. He could, if he can, as well, it looks very much like he's going to yes, be drawing um, Camellius's cavalry yes, into a, a trap of his yes, own. He's got a large number of cavalry here yes, just see? with the elephant. So if he's smart, and Camellius hasn't deposited all that food as well, so yes, see? there's actually, he's got 158 food just carrying, um, oh no, sorry, 38 food. But now there's, oh, yeah, the elephant's see? gone, that's going to be a bit of a loss to Valorant. Yeah. But for has been sending yeah. Bodica food, oh sorry. I think he hesitated to attack because there was body cavalry that uh, was uh, like a bit uh, around, so maybe he didn't want to engage the fight because yes. of that, because otherwise he should have attacked uh, Camus cavalry. Uh, Valeran. Yeah, Valeran yes. should have attacked uh, Camus cavalry. Okay, I'm wondering why. I think he's also he's put all of his um, women inside the civic centre, but he's not put any inside that house. So it's only oh no, has got. Sorry, it's full. That's why he's not um, done anymore. Yeah, uh, he needs to kill these guys soon, or he's going to lose those women and that house. And he's he's timed that just perfectly. Um, it's recovering yeah, loyalty, but he really needs support from his teammates. And if we look at their populations, he could really he needs to request some help from Christigadur or Chester um, and unknown player. Unknown player has a a good yeah. population. He's he needs to be helping him out here, and he's he's, he's reshaping actually... uh, food. Yeah. Yeah. yeah has he been? Let's just see. Is anything? Here. Okay. So he's been sending some food, but he's also got yeah. a large number of yeah, cavalry see? that could have helped um, to defend. But that's yeah. See? see, he's he's done really. Well. Valorant has done very very well to maintain his cavalry population so high and he's he's still harassing Bodica so it, Bodica's only seven population ahead of him and most of those are in his civic center yes this is true I think that uh, body cash probably has misled has misplayed a bit uh, to not uh, have a better position a uh, better population at this point yeah and also yeah it's you you said it it's true that uh, an odd player had some cav, but I don't know. He, he often uh, makes cav just for taking the food, but never attacking. Uh, so, yeah, see? Okay. yeah, that's that. I mean, I think it'll be yeah, interesting see? to see if anyone makes way. I'm just looking at the center of the map now, and there is you know, 10,000 metal uh, and 5,000 stone. And I don't see large amounts of I mean there are a few extra things of metal here there and everywhere but that is quite a a treasure trove if someone and it is very close to um uh I've forgotten his name already uh, unknown player so I'm just I'm still I'm looking back and yeah, watching see? Valorant circling round Bodica's uh civic centre and keeping on doing very well at harassing him and it does look yeah the, it does look like they, the additional cavalry that um, uh, Camellius stored there have been um, had their health restored, because they're yeah, all now see? back up at full health. Yeah, see? So uh, I think that uh, Borg is going for a very fast uh, phase uh, three uh, strategy yeah. because he's already uh, on uh, a lot of metal and he built the yeah. sentry uh, phase yeah, one tower, so he probably upgrade them yeah. and then. Uh, go very fast to phase three the thing is one of the that's one of my favorite things in the game actually the advances if you if you look as well on that border you've got the um phoenix desk has got that uh small tower as well 
and he's got a couple of those. I, and in fact, he's got three. Sorry, I do like that you can um, build those as kind of defensive structures, but then upgrade them so that once you do hit phase two, you can pretty much go straight to phase three. Um, just yeah. looking at... Uh, a Camellia yeah, sent a group of cavalry out to um, to Valorant's uh, CC. I mean, he's. I'm not quite sure why he's built these houses where he has. They seem a long way from anything. They're not within the range of the the civic centre, but they're also not near any resources or anything. So it's not like he's using them to, um, you know, as places where women could potentially uh, garrison if they were in trouble. Uh, so I just think it's a, very yeah. sh it's a strange choice. They're just, it's basically asking for those houses think, to be destroyed. I think that uh, this is those are the houses that were built by the elephant when he was uh, ah. hunting. So it was to save time, I think. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense now. There you go. Okay, we've now got um, a double attack in the north around Bodica's base. If you look at about uh, nine o'clock ish. You can see the unknown players now sent some cavalry as well, and they are—they're up against skirmishers, but they're doing. Yeah, but I think that uh, there are enough skirmishers to to fend the attacks. So I think that yeah. this is uh, a bit bad for them to take the fight, and they—they they lost uh, a bit of cavalry. So I'm—I'm I'm not fan of that personally. No, it's. I think. Yeah, it's certainly it was not a battle that they they could win, and as has been proven they didn't win it um in fact actually this is the first time that i've seen so many of these uh phase one towers be built um okay if you look now towards the center of the map there is um then we've got sword cavalry coming from uh borg he's moving down in towards phoenix desk's territory and yeah. phoenix and desk on... is building a lot of uh oh, barracks and on top of that uh Borg is uh, 20 seconds away to, to get to P3, so he was very fast at it. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Phoenix Desk, uh, like he, he made the, the towers, but he, needed, he didn't need uh, four of them because, uh, like, uh, he would build, uh, he needs a uh, black miss, yeah, he built the temple. So, oh, okay. whereas uh, Borg, he just built two of them because yeah. he knew that he would build the blacksmith, the market, etc. So. Yeah, uh, I have to say, for Okay, we've now got Borgs going in towards yeah, Valorant as well. But along yeah, with yeah, um, Camellius, so we've got yeah, the extra see? health that Borg's Phase 3 cavalry are going to have against Valorant's Phase 1 cavalry. I think actually yeah. this could be pretty much uh, game over before it's even begun. But I think that Borg uh, will focus more on uh, Phoenix Desk because... Uh, Probably because he's closer, and she's, if he wants to, to make damage, uh, probably that he will do that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I think see? this is the... I mean, again, yeah, we've got Phoenixes now building another um, another tower. I mean, they are more expensive to, to build them uh, as the small towers and then upgrade them. They do cost additional resources. But uh, I yeah, think see? in terms of... The, the match so far, if we look at the, the populations, we can see that Team 1 and Team 2 are actually not too far apart. They're, they're one population, and actually yeah, Team 2 is ahead. Yeah, literally that even, uh, but that even, but it's yeah, see? still true that uh, Valorant uh, is like, uh, the problem is that Valorant will struggle a lot to start uh, his economy. All the other players will have a, a good economy uh, set up. So that's something to, to keep in mind. Yeah, it absolutely is. I think it's been, it was a clear strategy uh, from the start that um, whoever was on that border with Valorant was going to rush him. Um, it was unfortunate from them, um, from team, are they team two or team one? Uh, whichever team they are, uh, team two. It's unfortunate from their perspective that uh, that wasn't Borg. Just had it been Borg, we may have seen uh, a bit more back and forth. But the fact that Borg was allowed to develop unhindered because um, we've got quite passive play from uh, Phoenix Desk. Um, although he's moving to phase three now, and okay, how 
how far is it until Borg gets rams? Okay, so he's 27 seconds away from two rams, which means that he'll have rams going in towards uh, Phoenix Desk's CC before Phoenix Desk gets even a fortress. And yeah. I don't see any sword cavalry. Do you see any sword cavalry at all? Are there any? So I don't know how no. he's going to defend himself yeah. against those rams. I think uh, that he will uh, just try to have uh, like uh, an army at least equal to, to Borg. But when he started uh, the fortress now, it should be that uh, he's even sending uh, all uh, all yeah. his builders. So yeah, it should be ready uh, soon enough. Oh, but uh, F Pro is coming. Whoa! Here comes uh, the yeah, red player. Yeah. Is bringing some slingers in. Uh, so for Prey has been sending. Th he's been. Pretty much static up to now, but he's sent a large group, 37 slingers. Oh my word! And if you look at Borg as well, Borg is sending um, almost 90 slingers, 38 spearmen, also 41 women. Oh no, he's not. Sorry, I just selected those by mistake. But I think okay, it's very very close to the um, the uh, fortress going up, and it will make it up. But the players, I don't even see uh, the armory for or the blacksmith for uh, Phoenix. Oh, here it is. He's got no upgrades so far. So does Borg or um, Fapray have uh, upgrades? Like, oh. Yeah. Only only Chester, I think, did the upgrades because he tend to to, the, to do them, but he he's. A bit late to, to come to, to help, so I don't know. Okay, let's have a look. We've got... Yeah, he's sending 13 slingers uh, and perhaps a few more, but... Yeah, unsurprisingly, the difficulty with stopping rams is when they're surrounded by um, so many skirmishers or slingers. You just cannot get your cavalry to them. They're, they're killed. You really... They're almost the only thing that can actually get them is other rams yeah uh, but this is this is not needed to kill them uh, right now it will be only a, a threat when it will reach uh, the fortress so that's not so much of a problem i think okay um i think what he's got his his fortress is garrisoned that he's he's decided to produce uh the hero ahead of producing the um the rams so it's going to be interesting i mean you i've seen and i'd say that if you can defend with a few uh, bolt shooters then they can do it but i don't think there's anyone on this side that has access to bolt shooters i don't actually even know what no, the indeed. and uh, by the way in the other side uh Bodica is uh, making an attack yeah. on violent yeah i've just i saw that on the corner of my head so we've got a lot of skirmishes coming through I think we may be witnessing the beginning of the end here. Um, Varan's still phase one. He's got half the population of everyone else. Um, yeah, it's yeah. been pretty mm -hmm. brutal. I think it's pretty much game over. I can't see unknown player and um, Chester. Although Chester's um, thrown yeah. a lot of people in now. Yeah, yeah, because like that's uh, the thing he's good at. But unknown player also needs to to send uh, some help to uh, yeah. his side. It's actually, but if you look at Borg's yeah, Borg's ram, it's it's just it's popping back, but it's got no, um, it's not been damaged at all. Yeah, but Red has lost all of his uh, attacking army. But we've got, if you look in the the south, um, just yeah, to see? okay, they're all dying now, but. Um, uh, Unknown Blair was also being kind of harassed by uh, uh, Grey, Camellius, and that's, um, but he's fought that off successfully. Valoran is, is desperately trying to find another place where he can get some wood, so he's moving a large group of women that are, are going to be otherwise undefended um, out to uh, more towards the centre of the board. That's going to cause him a lot of difficulties. He, if those are seen and captured, that seems to be pretty much all of his um, ability to go. He doesn't appear to have an army whatsoever. 
and uh, it's it's a bit of a shame that uh, Chester and uh, Phoenix Desk uh, don't try to, to push more on their side because they repel the army, they have a very strong force, but uh, yeah. Chester is, is trying to find another target, but I don't think... Uh, well, uh, I don't think it's the best idea. I think he, they should focus on Borg. But yeah, uh, absolutely. They're looking towards um, for prey at the moment. Although for prey's only just reached the city phase. Yeah, um, it's true. She, she doesn't have the the fortress, but and they could stop him putting one up. But oh, that's not a fortress. Sorry, that's the council chamber. But they're building. So Chester is building another civic center, which is yeah, it's yeah, Steve. interesting. I'm not sure. Yeah, he, it feels a, it it feels a bit slow. He if he does that, he has to gamble that uh, Valorant uh, will uh, that uh, Valorant and Unplayer will hold on their side basically because uh, he's making a bit of a long term yeah, plan. Uh, it seems. Yeah. No, I, I completely agree. I think it's uh, it reminds me of um, in chess when you see someone make a move and they just effectively just lose a tempo. It's it's yeah, their their chance to really push on was is is pretty much yeah, gone. If you look, there's they were actually only up against twenty five, well, fewer than twenty five soldiers, um, and he's also been able to build that council chamber, which is now allowing him to build his heroes. And yeah, they continued. They're building barracks, which is yeah, as you've mentioned, it's more of a long term approach. I also think. The location of that civic centre hasn't helped Phoenix Desk at all because it's it's just cannibalised a lot of his space. Yeah, so, that's true. So where does Phoenix Desk go for resources now? He's been he's been squeezed, but by his own player, uh, his own teammate. So I would have preferred, from my perspective, to see that um, civic centre go far closer to um, either the centre of the board where there is that large, sorry, I always say board because I still think of it like chess, but um, the centre of the map, which uh, I'm showing now where you've got those additional resources, which I think could be very, very useful, particularly as rams start getting destroyed, or towards um, the red player to try and um, compress his space and his ability to expand. But he's now, so for is now building a fortress, and if you think about the amount of time that's passed since this expansion was first put in, he could easily... Those 25 troops are now 50 troops and a hero. That fortress would never have gone up if they had just made that earlier attack. Yeah. So, okay, we've, but on the left-hand side of the board, yeah, unknown Steve? player is now launching a counter-attack. He's trying to... Um, yeah, Steve. to help Valorant. He's giving him some additional food and wood and he's going to push against um, uh, the orange player. Who's that? Bodica. Okay, so unknown player is offering food to his... Oh, but I think we have Borg. Yeah, Borg is coming again on the right-hand side as well. He's got three rams. Um... Although Phoenix has yeah, started to produce rams, it's I find it um, uh, fascinating that each of the players has each of the players playing as Britons has effectively the same army. Uh, there's no no difference. Yeah, I find so it. The well, there's a bit of difference because uh, Phoenix uh, made uh, more more spearmen than Borg. It's uh, yeah, like. Uh, that way he can tank uh, more the, more the uh, damage of the Slingers, but he has less yeah. Slingers himself, so... Yeah, I, I was thinking particularly around... Um, they've all gone for the same hero, um, and the, the proportion of uh, troops. I'm not sure why he sent his cavalry out to attack the Rams there. They, that just seems to be asking for them to be killed. Yeah, and non a non player is trying to to fight uh, one versus two in his side, and it seems like he's getting a uh, caught uh, yeah. caught up. That's uh, I think that's pretty bad. Yeah, he absolutely is. I mean, I think I'm just uh, watching that as well. And if you look, I'm just going to quickly check towards the centre. We can see that um, 
the yeah. green player, I've forgotten who it is, is desperately trying to stop the red fortress going up. It's about yeah. seventy five percent like, complete. Uh, sounds like uh, he he succeeded in that, but you can see in his civic center he has uh, twenty cigars that are doing nothing. Oh so my word, you're he, right. Yeah, yeah he, that's it could have been even better. Yeah, it yeah, absolutely could. I think that is certainly what um, should have been. Although he's now is is going to to get it if he can damage that temple and take it over. Uh, that could be a really good um, point from which he can launch attacks. Having that, it looks as though he is trying to take over the uh, the temple. I think that would be a very sensible move, and it really gives you an excellent uh, advantage point and base from which you can do it. Looks certainly red is is looking in the most trouble certainly on the north. Although Bodica to go back you can see though yeah the so Borg has been raiding uh, an NPR's food and uh, he didn't notice so I he noticed re just now but I think there was a lot of damage. Yeah you're right I've just seen that it's oh, from four cavalry. That's so frustrating. I always um, like to build a, um, a, a tower near my civic centre just for things like that, because at least it does something to dissuade people from that raiding, otherwise they can just do that. It's so difficult when you have the, the different alarms going off when you're fighting on multiple areas, it's, it's easy to miss that one. Yeah, but I think Camellia's now coming through with the elephants. They're, yeah, they're really well that, supported. Uh, so yeah, I think that uh, now uh, Team Two is starting to to fall uh, because uh, it will be too difficult to defend that uh, in that side. And uh, Borg is also gaining uh, some territory against uh, yeah. his death. Yeah, he is. You're right, and it's that. Yeah, it's the classic. Um, there. I mean, actually, I made a video about siege weapon, weapons that I uploaded today, and it basically said exactly what Borg is doing here. That you have your rams, if you if you get the the armor bonus as well, uh, and you surround them with slingers or skirmishers, they're they're virtually impossible to stop because there's nothing that can uh, beat them. He hasn't actually gone for the armor bonus himself, but. He's just going to knock down houses and just claim the loot, and I don't think that this group of um, slingers that Phoenix Desk has is going to be sufficient. Although, Green um, green is pushing into Borg's territory. Yeah, so uh, Borg doesn't want to be trapped, so he goes back. Yeah, let's have a look at that. I mean, it is... It's it's a cliche, but it's also very very true that attack can be the best form of defence. That he's basically sending that group of slingers, which yes. isn't the world's largest, it's fewer than fifty slingers, has probably saved Phoenix Desk. Well, maybe for a little while because he's going back now. But it's allowed yeah. Phoenix Desk to attack the Rams with his sword cavalry. If he can just at least kill one of them. And I'd say as well, from Phoenix Desk's point of view, he's he's not producing any rams, or actually, he's not producing a lot. Full stop. Um, has he got the? Does, and Green doesn't have the murder holes either, so he's he's in danger of losing his tower as it's not actually um, able to defend itself, and he has lost the tower. Did Green... Uh, Green didn't take over the temple. That would have been very, very good had he done that. Okay, so Borg backing off. We have, again, at Valorant's um, area, he's, oh, he's being absolutely ravaged. This is looking very, very... A hundred plus archers. And if you haven't got something like catapults, are absolutely superb against these archers. But he doesn't have anything that can offer that can stop them you know yeah this is uh, this is very bad yeah is he 
he's still only phase two, but then Bodica's only phase two as well. I'm considering he's been he's been kind of hamstrung by playing first as Morians. I mean that's particularly unlucky that he drew Morians while Borg drew uh, Britons. It couldn't really have fallen any worse. And yeah. also the way the two players have harassed him constantly has been very very good. Um, if you look now back towards um, Borg's area, he's pushing with um, Frey yeah, against um, the green player, I've forgotten his name again, uh, Chester. Oh, Chester's yeah. producing spearmen, just spearmen after spearmen after spearmen. So rather than any, um, any range troops, I'm not sure how successful yeah, they'll yeah. be at defending against rams or anything. Yeah, he's doing that because the spearmen are also the first you need to, to die, so it's a bit of mid-shield because they are they have a higher defense and HP. Yeah. Since they are the first to die, well, he, he needs to replace them constantly, so that's the reason. Yeah, it will be interesting. I don't think anyone's got any champion units out yet. No, okay. they probably won't make them. I do like the the Briton swordmen. They're very good. What do we have? Yes. So you, again, we have uh, Borg's border with um, Phoenix Desk. Is it's a scene of a battle, but I think. Oh, I, I just saw what looked like it was a catapult. Oh, unknown player is attacking again in the north. He's gone into Bodica's yeah, desk. He's got a lot of rams. If he can, if he can take out the elephant, then Bodica. Um, unfortunately, the rams are focused on this house. I think there are more important buildings they could destroy. But if they can get a clear pathway through to the civic center, that could be particularly damaging to Bodica. Yeah, at least uh, failure round six center didn't go down yet, so they still have a uh, hope. Yeah, there's yeah. only I think one elephant. There is just oh, there's two though. There's one elephant and there's the hero elephant. But oh no, it's not a hero elephant. It's yeah, a see? hero uh, of, like chariot. So. The elephant's at 100% health and it's now heading towards his CC. I don't think Valorant has any archers or anything. No, and but uh, he can unload the uh, unknown player uh, yeah. garrison unit in his six center. Yeah, he really needs unknown player to, to help out there. Unknown player's pushing really hard against uh, Bodica. If he can take out that civic center. Yeah, yeah, it could be could be very very good actually. Yeah, it's because uh, Borg is taking a, a lot of time in his side. He like he, he has much more population, but uh, there's still a fortress. There's still a lot of defense to go down be before the six center uh, is yeah. destroyed. So if uh, body class six center is destroyed, that could be that could be huge. Yeah, it could make a big difference. Okay, it's it is losing it's losing health, and it looks very much like. He's only got, uh, is it two? He's got only a handful of swordsmen, so he's actually not got that many people who can actually really hurt the rams as well. I wonder yeah. if, um, if Camellius will be able to support this. I think it's going to go, I really do. It's down to 400, 267, 130, it's gone. That's, that changes things. Yeah. Yeah, Steve? We can uh, we can try to 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 do some hype for the comeback. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, for everyone that uh, had given up on the game, well, it's there. Okay, we got. I'm just looking at some of the the comments. Yeah, Borg is lagging, and there is lag in the game. Good. Right, so. Don't is he? Ah, oh, he's knocking down the barracks as well. If they can, where's the the loyalty coming from from those buildings? It's uh, it's coming from uh, 
Camille's Six Center because uh, it's also helped by Ali, Ali's uh, Six Center. So oh, that's, right. why, uh, that's why he keeps them alive. But at least his economy is uh, not, uh, it's not exist basically. So that's uh, the important thing. If he can continue, if he can get those rams to take out the, the barracks, then he's got no ability to produce that. I mean, anything. This is where you see the limitations of the archers. He's got 103 archers, but they're just shooting at rams. And, you know, at the same time, we've had about 10 or 12 um, skirmishes have killed an elephant. So, yeah, ironically, at this point, actually, the women are some of the best um, people at taking down rams that he's got. They've lost another tower. So now, uh, in the other side, the uh, Borg finally reached the fortress with his rams. Uh, he has uh, six rams, so maybe he, he will uh, be able to do something. Uh, maybe uh, Chester, yeah, maybe he will need uh, in the end to, to help. Oh, but his uh, funny desk is unloading the rams to, to do some damage, so that can... Uh... Yeah, he's got... Did, did he manage to get any... Um, oh, Borg's also yeah. taken over um, the, the temple, which is, is pretty helpful for his supporting troops, but they happen to just have, um, you know, their, themselves being healed. Their unknown player as well is pushing again to help defend Valorant, so Valorant is possibly going to make it to phase three at some point. Um, but yeah, this get a fortress is gone, and I think the civic center will go shortly after. Yeah. So uh, when you see things like this, a ram on 32 health, it's so frustrating to know that there's absolutely nothing you can do to stop them. Yeah. I normally try and fill my um, fortresses with sword cavalry to hopefully allow them to have some supporting fire if they are then to attack rams. But that hasn't happened yet. Now there are no sword cavalry. This civic center's gone. And uh, yeah, I said it before, and it's I think he really wasn't helped there. Phoenix desk he was really squeezed by um, the green player. Yeah, it's true. Chester didn't really help them in his side, so no, I think uh, that uh, they should send him the resources as uh, as soon as possible so that he, he rebuilds because it's, it's important for the economy. Yeah, I mean, if you... He has to, or to, to do that. If he can't rebuild that civic centre, but Chester's pushing into Borg again, but he's been distracted by... I think he'd got quite yeah, a lot of troops actually in towards Borg's, um, towards the civic centre, but uh, Red Player... I've forgotten his name. Who is it for Prey? Yeah, he did well to... He basically just he seems to have sacrificed those soldiers. Yeah, uh, I don't think they're going to do a lot. Okay. Oh, Camellius has been dancing, apparently. But now he's saying he hasn't. Um, okay, what's... This is... It's passive stance. What's the difference between passive stance and dance? Because uh, the passive stance, uh, like, he can put the hero uh, in uh, forward, then he, he gets attacked, so the hero goes back, and all oh. the units are following, trying to attack, while uh, they get uh, destroyed by the enemy, so... Okay, that's very... Uh... So, yeah, that's a bit uh, annoying. Okay, uh, seems like a, a technicality. Um, yeah, but it's, it's good. Obviously, you wouldn't want to do that if it was a regicide game. But let's have a look. Green is now pushing in into Red's territory again. Let's see. Is it going yeah, to? Yeah, I don't think he'll be able to actually take yeah, it out. But if he was to send some rams in there, if he was able to, he could really push in quite heavily. Red, for praise, built all these. Um, Fences, but I don't really know what the, the purpose of them is, particularly the ones which yeah, you can just walk around that he's got there. Um, I mean, I've, I've 
I've used them, I've seen people use them in the past when you've got catapults, if you have like a rolling catapult attack, if you constantly build these wooden fences around um, around them, it does mean that it's very difficult for someone to stop those catapults, but he's not building any catapults. But here comes uh, Borg again. Yeah, Steve? Yeah, she has to go back. So, I mean, Green is, is really pushing, so the problem now is that where if he can't build his civic centre where it was, because now some of that has been... Yeah, he's, he's lost some of his territory to Green. Yeah, she's is... building uh, it uh, at the back. Like, uh, really at the back. Okay, where well, I can't even see it. Oh, wow. Well, hopefully it will take some of green space. At least there's plenty of wood there. But this central area, there's a lot going on there, but no one has claimed the the metal yet. Let's have a look. No. Yeah, all of the fighting. Wow. We've got, yeah, red and blue uh, are making a pretty large push onto green. I think they've done yeah, Quite she saw it's a bit uh, un uh, outnumbered by yeah. uh, Evan. He's completely unnumbered. But unknown player is coming to support. But that, um, yeah, ironically, for um, from Phoenix Death's perspective, probably this civic centre going down is the best thing that could happen for him. Uh, for his own personal um, game, whether that is a good thing for, the, for their team, I would doubt. But it would at least give... Um, him some space. Well, he doesn't have a lot of economy anyway, so... Yeah. It doesn't, uh, doesn't change a lot, I think. No, the Borg's Rams are just are continuing to... to push on. Um, it's gonna go... quickly has... Bodic, Bodic's managed to rebuild his civic centre and his, yeah, his economy still now seems relatively good again. So that was just a temporary um, blip. Valorant and Bodic, neither of them have made phase two yet, but the battle certainly moved um, location and I think uh, Valorant will just be happy to have the chance to, to build his economy and hopefully build up an army where he can then push on again into Bodica. I think if he's given the opportunity, he will be able to take Bodica out. Yeah. Okay, so... Well, uh, Phoenixesk uh, is attacking in Borg uh, empty base, basically, but he doesn't have any RAM, so he can only do so much, basically. Yeah, yeah. This thing really needs the siege weapons. If if he could, yeah, he's just got a lot of people waving at the um, at the temple. He could actually take that temple down if he just uh, attacked it with some of the slingers first. Yeah, but uh, that would be slow anyway, so he, he doesn't have uh, a lot to do, so yeah, he may as well uh, reinforce in the fight. Great, so we've now got, it's now three on two yeah, in the centre, you've got everyone basically moving into that area just to the north of the green territory. And um, we've got uh, some additional support yeah, from unknown player coming through, that's 20 or so spearmen. Um, and even Borg is... Yeah, so in, I'm surprised to see Borg actually throwing people into that fight. Yeah. Could... It was a good fight uh, for a long time, but uh, it dragged a bit and he's getting trapped now. So I think uh, that Camus was a bit late to reinforce. He, he has 220 population for a long time now, so I think he, he needed to, to send uh, a bit of more soldiers, I think. Okay, just look at, Borg is pushing now, yeah, he is pushing in the north, but with only archers. Um, he really needs some elephants, or he needs, if unknown player would were just to be able to donate him 
uh, two or three rams that would make a big difference and or, um, Valorant would be able to to destroy Boudicca I think he just needs something to enable him to get through these towers yeah Got a large number of. Yes, yeah, And you've got archers, spearmen, and a hero uh, coming down from the south from Camellius. They're all doing some excellent um, uh, distribution of resources there, making sure that each of their teammates can perform well. Here we go. Um, now we've got some rams going towards Borgs. Um, Thing. It looks like that first tower is going to go, and actually Borg may be in trouble. He's pulling some people out, but he doesn't actually have anything that would clearly be able to take out those rams. He's just got the spearmen, and their pierce damage is ideal in this very yeah, limited hack. Cool. Yeah, is he getting uh, dangerous? Yeah, this, if, if they can actually take this out. This would be a good opportunity if someone, once that's gone, if someone could build a civic centre. Wow, Borg's territory has just vanished. If someone was able to even slyly um, build a civic centre you know, just a little bit closer to it, then it could even um, start to take control of a few of uh, these buildings. Yeah, but they, they can't afford to do it because uh, they have to fight uh, every time. Uh, they, they, they can't afford to, to stop and uh, idle some minutes. Uh, I was thinking for um, uh, the light blue player, Phoenix Desk, if he was able to, he's not really, because of his economy, he's not in a position where he can really support militarily. He could potentially, oh, if those rams now, the rams have taken out the tower, they're moving away from the... Um, the fortress, though, frustrating. But uh, Borg, Borg has some uh, Rams training, so that can be very, very dangerous for a non-player. Yeah, he does. They're going to be ready in 15 seconds, so and he's done well. He's got all the women out just chasing off the Ram. This is where the Rams pathfinder can be so frustrating. You, know, you just think, bulldoze the women out of the way. Okay, there's eight seconds for the Ram. It, the fortress is two-thirds destroyed. He's yeah. getting close to this four. Okay, is it going to make oh, it? I, I think not. I think not. Oh my word, that was... Oh. That must have been a fraction of a second. Okay, yeah. that... That is game-changing. Yeah. And uh, actually... when, uh, the six center just had the time to go up, so... Wow. Yeah, it's getting very difficult. Uh, I think the... I think they did a very good comeback. Uh, Although it's still even on population, but the fact that Borg uh, has been uh, basically uh, got uh, his best, uh, his best uh, wiped out uh, is uh, is very big. Yeah, exactly, and that's just what I was mentioning earlier. If one of the players, as has happened, that civic center going up at the point that the um, the, uh, the fortress went down, if they can now, if they can stop this civic center, do they have the population to stop that civic center going up because Borg can't get his civic center back. So if you didn't like uh, Funny's desk uh, yeah, territory, yeah. now you will uh, start to hate it because uh, now even in his farms it's uh, getting... Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's getting I've been stolen his farms. <laughs> and even Borg, he's got no civic center, he's got his temple. So yeah. if you look in the south as well, we've just got now Camellius. Yeah, is going to raid unknown players home. He's going to take his market. And this is where, as I mentioned earlier, not having just one tower would be sufficient to cause these, um, just some disruption to these horse uh, cavalry ah. because they're going to take the market. But they took down the six center with the slingers, so yeah. that's something to, to note. Yeah, yeah, yeah they've just seen that. Can... Okay, so now it's... Okay, so... Unknown player is... is sent, we've got four skirmishers firing at the people putting the Civic Center up. And it looks like Paul's going to have sufficient 
uh, yeah, population to any effect. They're going to be pushing on. Yeah, uh, if only um, Phoenix Desk could manage to push further north a little bit. So right in the centre now is a, a big battle where I think, yeah, well, looking at the makeup of the armies, Camellius is set to lose a lot of archers. They've got no uh, melee troops support whatsoever. But yeah, they're successfully running away. <laughs> uh, and, wow, Borg's finally got his fortress there, so we're going to potentially see his get a hero and uh, potentially some of the troops. I like the, the Morian mace people. They can destroy buildings and um, although we haven't been watching it, that tower that was causing problems for um, Valorant has now been destroyed. It's being rebuilt currently. He's got... There's a big battle going on. Oh, Red is pushing into... Oh, it's, it's just going on everywhere. So Prey is now pushing into... Um, the territory of Phoenix Desk from two sides. I don't know the Phoenix Desk. What's his population? So now basically uh, everyone on the the first team is doing something. Uh, like uh, Camus is also moving. Uh, F is moving. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, Team Two they yeah, need uh, an player to do something because uh, Phoenix Desk uh, doesn't have a lot to to defend. No. If you, this is just a, a nine um, sword cavalry that Camellus is just sending around and he's destroyed uh, everyone's uh, food economy. I mean, at this point yeah. in the game, everyone has a lot of food anyway, so it's actually not, it's not a, a huge problem immediately, but it will be if they don't realise that's happened and then before they know it, um, they try to produce some soldiers and they can't produce any. Um, one of the barracks of uh, Phoenix yeah, Desk has now been captured by Frey and he's pushing on, he's, he's trying to capture the other barracks as well and I think he probably will get at least one of them. In fact, he looks like he might get oh, three to four of them unless uh, these, yeah, see? the green soldiers can do that. This is where having those, um, the spearmen is causing... Uh, an issue because they're slower than the skirmishers or the um, uh, the uh, slingers, and he's not actually able to to make them as mobile as they need to be to yeah. to get between the different battles. Um, yeah, this this looks bad now. The Phoenix Desk has uh, sorry, not Phoenix. He's lost three barracks, and Borg is pushing from the north. Borg's built a another fortress and it's actually yes, right see? on Phoenix Desk's doorstep. That's going to be the end for Phoenix Desk very soon. Well, yeah. I said that before and then he somehow managed to to survive, but he certainly looks to be in the weakest position at the moment. Valorant may well be about to um, yes, to take out Bodica. Uh, he's got plenty of barracks. He doesn't have uh, the elephant. Have, yeah, he Place. doesn't have the elephants, so it will be difficult uh, still to to make out of damage. And the six center now is a bit uh, further in the back, so yeah, it will be difficult yeah, to attack. Absolutely, um, but these oh, this is like we mentioned previously that these couple of rams, though, that uh, unknown player is sending, could prove absolutely crucial because it's can. It, he'll find it very difficult to get anyone out to stop the rams with this many archers there, unless it's um, other rams. Uh, but he hasn't got a fortress, does he? So Bodica has, at this stage, he's got the best potential for siege weapons and combination of siege weapons to really cause problems, but he's not um, able to do so. Um, I think it can't be long before Phoenix Desk gives up. He's managed to reclaim. Oh no, he hasn't. He's managed to destroy two of the barracks. So the other two have just been killed off. Uh, Borg again, bad connection. The FPS has dropped two. So apologies for people watching it. The problem for Team 2 is that uh, Chester uh, 
had to uh, to fight uh, one versus three for a long time. So he, in the end, he, he lost a lot of his army. So yeah, and he hasn't. We've got yeah, uh, one elephant that's taking barracks upon barracks upon barracks. So, so Valorant has, has done some writing in uh, Camille's base. Okay. Yeah, see? Oh, wow. Yeah, see? Oh, actually, it looked worse on the mini-map than it was. Um, so we've now got Fabrez pushing deeper into the territory. He's actually getting closer and closer to... Um, uh, Camellius, that's uh, not Camellius, sorry, to the green player, Chester. Yeah, if uh, if Chester Gutter or Chester, whatever, is watching, how do you pronounce that name? Obviously, you're not watching now, but if you're watching in the future, the playback, then yeah, it would be useful because uh, I watched when Alistair and Feldfeld were commentating and it was just as difficult then. No one was any closer yeah. to understanding. Yeah, see? So the population are back to, to being given, so yeah, I don't know how that goes. It's quite incredible, really. Um, I have to say, yeah, bravo to you for the balance. It's, it's looked... There have been a couple of times when it's swung one way and it looks all over and then it swings the other way and it looks like it could be changing. And now yeah. we've got the other three. I mean, Valorant now is in the point where he is sending resources to everyone. He's got um, such a strong position, but where's his elephant stables? He badly needs some elephants or something. But Fortunately, uh, Anupia still has some runs uh, there. So. He does, and I don't know what... Odika can do here if yeah and uh, Valorant now he's running into F pro base so he's really switching the uh, target to, to get uh, all the food uh, so can you say that again I missed that uh, Valorant is now also running uh, F pro base oh ok <laughs> so F pro yeah I was calling him for prey so I yeah, it's difficult, but that again, these little raids and things can be so, so critical. Because with so much fighting going on, it's very easy to not realise this is happening. I mean, if if Unknown Player was able to do it, there's not really the, the space within the map for him to, to find a route. But if Unknown Player were able to get some rams to um, uh, F, FPRE for Prey, uh, whatever to his base it's so it, it's just not defended yeah, whatsoever there's there's eight soldiers there everyone is out fighting it would it would be very difficult and it would force people to it would be a way to yeah, relieve the pressure on um phoenix desk but it's god phoenix desk is in all manner of trouble that one elephant is still going somehow it's not been killed I've, it's only lost about uh, 67 health in that whole time. Ordinarily, they die incredibly quickly, but it's done done well. This pincer attack, you know, three players attacking, has made a real um, impact. Can you know, it needs now Valorant to get that breakthrough against Bodica very, very shortly? Um, can he do it though? Yeah, uh, that takes time because uh, they have to be coordinated with unknown player. Unknown player has to care about uh, two sides, one with his ram and one uh, where he's actually fighting with the soldiers. So it's very difficult to get coordinated in these uh, situations. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And just what's particularly, or what's been done particularly well by Bodica as well is look at the way those those houses have been set as a you know the fields the houses um, the tower there's there are so many things between um, so many buildings between the civic center and the rams and this is why if Valorant just had some elephants yeah, he could control himself but even now he's 
his archers are, are shooting at a tower when he could really do with those shooting at the swordsmen and the spearmen that have just killed a ram. So, I mean, I don't know how easy it is to put that something into the game, but it's it's really frustrating to me when you're playing and soldiers end up attacking the one thing that they can't attack. Like in that instance, like why are archers shooting at a tower? Yeah. Yeah, it's true. They, he takes a, a lot of time. The the rams should have been uh, already on the sixth center. Yeah. Because uh, it's just a bit. Uh, it's just some houses. So. I saw a, a game with a uh, bad around which I thought was really really clever. He did an excellent trick where he, uh, I think he was playing as Ptolemies or someone. So he started the foundations of houses, like lots of houses, around his civic center and built them only a tiny bit but it meant that every time uh, the rams were sent towards the uh, to attack the civic center but by constantly building these small barriers in the way that were free it meant that the rams rather than just knocking down the the foundations of this house they tried to find another route round uh, and it was it was kind of hilarious to watch because it was really taking advantage of the, the way the pathfinder works yeah. Okay, up in the north we're going to see... The rams are going round now. Okay, so they've taken out the market. Here's Bodica going to survive. Bodica still has a pretty decent population. He's got a bigger population than Borg at the moment. I don't quite understand how or where they all are, because he's not engaged in any of the fighting. Yeah, I'll fight. He actually carries on a lot, like you can double kick the towers and the barracks. Ah, uh, okay. So the seek center. Okay, it's getting close now. The Borg's rams are getting very close to yes, um, Phoenix Desk's civic center. I don't know how long. So he still doesn't have. Oh, he's building some sword cavalry at last, but it's a case of will the rams. Uh, so will those barracks survive long enough to actually build the sword cavalry and get the, and attack the rams? Because those rams are just, you know, pretty much unopposed. Uh, by the way, the population are still very even. Uh, yeah. And for quite a long time, I, I have been checking them. It was really, uh, like, literally the same number, so... To yeah, so there's a lot going on, but um, uh, Camillus is having to to drop back because he's just lost his fortress, and it looks like he'll lose his elephant stables shortly uh, yeah. to a couple of unknown players' rounds. It was like unknown player eventually just gave up trying to get to the um, Bodica Civic Center, but if they really the I, I forget which team is which. Um, I don't know how I find out. Um, team 2 could do with taking out one of the players because Phoenix Desk is, is virtually gone and will be gone shortly. And it's a case of whether they can get to a point where they manage to take out one of the other players to keep it, it relatively even. Because, and yeah, this, this is a pretty um, desperate plight now. Are the rams getting any closer? Okay. So it could be that the civic center that's going to go down is are uh, these swordsmen? Yes. Yeah, uh, it's going to be uh, of um, Camellius. But there are lots of. Oh, Valoran yeah, is. See? has got a lot of archers against Camellius' archers, but he could do with protecting if it's possible. Yeah, if I want uh, much uh, less yeah, units, and Camellius also has his hero to do his uh, passive uh, thing, so... Yeah, we've got um, a lot of swordsmen, like Roman oh. swordsmen, coming round um, on to the north of Camellius as well, which is quite... Um, which is helpful, they'll be very useful against the Rams, which is where the same hasn't been made available by this 
damn food. So for um, the Phoenix Desk, he's not had uh, really access to anything other than those sword cavalry that can that can stop rams, and it, it really shows because those cavalry just get massacred. We've got a ram here that's on a health of... Oh no, it's gone. It's just been killed. But one, oh, Ball's got two more rams. One's nearly dead, one is um, looking quite healthy. But I don't know if they'll be able to stop that. Needs to get the women um, out there to try to stop these rams as well. If these rams... Will they knock down the Civic Centre before it's too late? Mm. Uh, it looks like they're going to um, poke the ram to death. Which needs for them yeah. just before that. Yeah, yeah. So up in the north, those all those Roman... Um, yeah, see? All the Roman swordsmen are now able to do that. I wonder where he got all that metal from. So well, maybe he, he could get it from his teammate, or it's, it doesn't cost a lot of metal anyway, so that's not a, a big problem. No, it's quite a lot of... So there's 27 of them, but there's no way. If they're, yeah, there's unfortunately yeah, unknown player and um, Green Chester are not able to support um, Valorant's attack, so he's been pushed back. But what he has done is, is drawn um, Camellius back to his home and to also to support Bodica. So that's allowing them to defend Phoenix Desk. Yeah, um, but Phoenix Desk population is still 66, so he's not going to be um, offering anything uh, in any great detail. Um, anything with any real uh, use, I suppose, utility um, in the short term. Um, yeah, yeah. It, just, it feels like um, death by a thousand cuts. Now, I don't no, uh, yeah, the, the problem is now I think that uh, the team one with Borg uh, is back to the winning seat because uh, they are four four versus three now basically. Yeah, they are. Um, it's uh, it's a shame for Valorant because he really was pushing very very hard against both guys. Yeah. Still, I, I, I think I think they were too slow because uh, the I think that the Rams could have done something uh, there. They they just uh, lacked a bit of coordination. Yeah, which is. As you've already pointed out, it's very difficult when you're fighting on two fronts and the, the Rams Pathfinder doesn't help, but then I, I wonder why Valorant didn't produce any um, uh, an elephant stables or something that would have allowed him to also contribute to that. Uh, and the, the good thing about having a combination of Rams and elephants is that they're each susceptible to to different um, attackers, which, given the luck that you sometimes do, it may have been that the, the skirmishers would attack the rams while the swordsmen would attack the elephants, and if that was the case, they would be doing pretty well. Yeah. Okay, it looks like... Wow. Um, Phoenix Desk is going to get himself a fortress. That... Yeah, basically built by uh, his allies. His allies. Yeah, and they're having to do... They're doing that for him, and they're doing a good, uh, a good job. Okay, um, I, I need a drink, so I'm just going to open one. And but my bottle opener is a Borussia Dortmund bottle opener that's going to sing a football chant. So I warn you, if that's what you're hearing. Oh, yeah. Well, they have done both, have they? Okay. Uh, so it's not going to shut up for ages now. After they found it. Okay. Okay. Okay, we've got people in the chat speaking speaking Portuguese, which is always uh, always nice to see. Interesting, yeah. <laughs> okay. So sorry about that, everyone. I was kind of away for a second. Ah, oh, whoa. They're now pushing into unknown players. Um, uh, base, albeit not 
yeah, in huge numbers, but unknown players actually is at risk here. Yes, yeah, she has armies. Uh, she's armies uh, has to defend uh, Phoenix's. So, but yeah. uh, Valorant uh, is there, but she doesn't have uh, enough. No, no, he he really doesn't. Valorant's down to one four three. Uh, Chester's at full population, so Chester really needs to be the one to yeah, to step in now in terms of defending um, uh, Phoenix desk. It's yeah, I think this could be. Well, I mean, I said it a few times, but I think this could be the the end because looking at things now, we've got uh, a a temple going up from uh, from Ray, and we've got the rounds are knocking various things down. Um, if uh, Bodica looks looks safe again, Bodica's even built a fortress. And if that means that he gets uh, catapults or um, yeah, or or rams of his own going, particularly if he gets rams, actually, I'm not sure where Valorant's going to be able to defend against that. Yeah. That's why it's still uh, taking time to to really have a decisive. Uh... Yeah. Says the result. <laughs> and I just looked at the time and was like, wow, it's half past eight. How did this happen? Yeah, it's very rare to have games like that back and forth, etc. It's, uh, it's really, uh, really rare. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, uh, Chester's looking for those. Ah, oh, the, um, the mines in the middle that looked uh, so tantalizing earlier on they're finally being claimed by uh, for prey so that's where the they can also have the advantage of uh, access to a large amount of uh, silver uh, the metal and the stone we've got yeah. on top of things it's it has to has to end shortly by the way, uh, FPR has done uh, very well this game. He, he uh, always has been fighting. Uh, I think he, he did quite uh, good for his uh, level or what he does uh, generally. Now he has over 700 kills, which is uh, quite good for him. Yeah, he really does. Wow. he's He's got the most. He's killed double, uh, what, double Phoenix Desk and actually 50% more than Valorant. So... Yeah, he has been pretty um, uh, omnipresent. There was a point earlier on when it looked like uh, Chester was going to really um, push into his territory, but it didn't quite happen. And he's really come back well. He's offered constant support. And uh, the, the reason he took Athenians is because of the bonus of his hero, which gives uh, three more armor yeah. to, to you. Units in this formation. Yeah, that hero is totally OP. I think he's far and away the best hero in the game. Um, from my perspective, just if you get a group of 50 to 100 slingers and have him giving them plus three armor, it's, yeah, that's killer. The only sort of uh, equivalent thing is, um, is it Brasidas, I forget, or Leonidas, I forget which one, but I really like from Iberians, if you have your um, Skiritai Commandos, but you have them supported by the, um, the Skirmishers, and then you get the correct hero that gives the Skirmisher bonus, um, yeah, that with Rams can be pretty deadly. Yeah, also Zichos are very good. Yeah, see? So what? It's, oh, um, if you look down, uh, Camellius is pushing right into Unknown Player's territory now. Unknown Player is, his yeah, he looks, he's fairly not well supported at home. He's, and Bodic is able to also help him out, which is quite the turnaround from where Bodic was, that he's now actually offering, uh, support to an attack and he's 
He's so confident he hasn't even bothered to deposit over 200 wood. Okay, someone... A lot of people just died, I heard, in my ear there. Um, I'm not sure what it sounded like, a ritual suicide of, um, of women yeah, that someone maybe, was using. Yeah, maybe someone deleted his woman to make a space for propagation. Uh, yeah, I think that's exactly... I think that's what happened. Um, I always feel mean when I do that. I don't know why. I know they're not real, but it still makes me feel uneasy, the idea that their lives... They've worked so hard collecting all these um, resources, all the food and wood, and then you just say, your, your life is now worthless. I need a soldier. Um, yeah, rest in peace. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You, you did a good job, but... It's, yeah, someone, uh, Francisco Leiter, just said uh, it's feminicide. Um, yes, that is, that is true. Okay, Phoenix Desk is just finally good gamed. Oh, good game, but well, what was the population again? Because... Uh, it's on 64. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. It's, uh, yeah, it's Phoenix Desk who posts it, but he's not resigning yet, so... No, he's still got people trying to... Rebuild is that? I don't even know who's DSD. Which okay, so he's trying to maintain his fortress, but there's still no one attacking DSD? around. Yeah, there's yeah, not. It's good, um... Yeah, that's what's proven so difficult is actually. I think if yeah, if Valorant had had access to rams. It may have been different. I think he got so unlucky that Borg drew Britons and he got um, Warriors. It really couldn't have fallen any worse. Yeah. And it's made a, a big difference to that because I think Borg, they, Borg could have pushed on uh, or could have been pushed out. Uh, yeah, Steve? some excellent mining going on in the center and for prayers sending people resources left right and center that's true and Camellius has, has given up yeah, on his assault so but then where the okay he has gone for rams that's I mean that's quite sensible but with so many um range units being used it seems i would have preferred to see some catapults come out i think if you've got someone whose army is basically uh 70 percent uh archers catapults will make light work of them same with the slingers um, yeah by the way uh, an employer uh, has uh, some uh, some rams carried in the fortress so we'll see if uh, valorant kills and uh, Maybe it will need the coordination because, uh, like, uh, the, the gathering point for Valley Want will not work for uh, for unknown player rams, and maybe it will uh, auto focus uh, something else. Uh, okay, sorry, uh, explain that again. The unknown player has uh, some rams chasm into uh, Valley Want. Okay. But uh, if Valorant unloads them, maybe it won't, it won't actually attack the rams. Ah, okay. Yeah. I see. Oh yeah, there are four rams in there, you're right. So he needs he needs to contact him to help. They so are... they're also attacking the rams, so okay, that's very good. It's... I'm okay. Okay, and that's yeah, it for now. Yeah, see? I swear, uh, I may have criticised Romans at the start, but they're, at this stage of the game, the fact that they've got access to easy swordsmen that are cheap, and they've also got um, the best um, combination of siege weapons at the moment, they could be the difference. They could make a huge, um, make a huge impact. Okay. Phoenix Death still seems to be on exactly 66 soldiers. I think he's been on that for like, no more, no less, for as long as I can remember. I don't know how he's managed to maintain exactly that population. Uh, maybe he received some resources. Yeah. Okay, 
someone has to win this soon. Like it's been over an hour and a half. Oh, <laughs> if Ola was a novice, asked that Borg shouldn't be allowed to be involved in the stream due to causing lag. Um, well. Okay, I'm sorry. I need uh, to to leave now because I don't have any more time. So no, that's I'm fair saying, enough. Uh, yeah, I'm saying goodbye to the stream. So okay, well, thank you very much, uh, Vincent. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Too. Enjoy your evening. I'll hopefully solve win soon, and I can stop as well. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh dear. So I am on on my own now. Okay. Um, Francisco Light says uh, a dash to Feldfeld um, and your quote unquote sexy French voice. Right. So I'm just speaking to you guys that are watching now. So um, you won't get the excellent. Uh, banterous commentary um, between two of us I'll just have to describe the action um, but let's see what's happening here so they're pushing on to well there are two um, main attacks going on the, the fact that uh, for prey has this um, central uh, area is is very very helpful and we've got a couple of pushes yeah, happening that are desperately trying to make a difference we could see actually looking at things Camellius could be in big trouble in fact he is he's losing a lot of his archers while unknown player is pushing onto uh, Bodica again I would I'd really like to see him produce some catapults uh, I just really like catapults I think they work really really well in this game Phoenix Desk has actually managed to move his population up to 85, which is pretty impressive. He's gone from 66. Okay. Yes. Uh, looking at the chat again, yes. Um, he is Swiss. Fell, fell. So we've got a fortress that's about to go down. But unless Bodica can be properly um, actually you know, taken out of the game, which he's, he's been brutalised repeatedly, but not quite to the extent that they can actually take him out. Camellius is sending some yeah, soldiers in to attempt to take out uh, the, the farming economy of the green player, Chester, or I'm going to go with Krustigator. Um, we've got Borg sending rams into unknown players' territory, and this... Well, how is this going to work? It's... It's, it's brutal. Um, yes, the whole thing is brutal, but... This is absolutely um, an insane game. I've never seen anything that's lasted this long. Um, so... Fair play to all of you that have been watching for the last almost hour and three quarters. Um, right. Yeah, there needs to be, in future, some way of making the uh, there be an end point, like it counts down after one hour, the, the scores of the teams are added or something like that. But, oh my God, hold up. It looks like unknown player, unknown player sorry, may well be about to take out Bodica's civic centre. Uh, his cleverly placed houses are causing problems because they're getting in the way of the rams. I don't think the rams yeah, are sufficient rams there to actually... Are there? They're, most of the rams have got caught 
taking out houses again, which I just this ram is doing nothing, they've lost a ram. There's more rams taking out houses, which is so frustrating. Or just driving around nowhere, the pathfinder just completely fails. Yeah, and you have to keep reminding them to attack the civic centre. Is it going to happen in time? I'm not sure it is. It looks like there's sufficient soldiers. Oh, maybe. Uh, it looks in fact somehow the. Is it going to go? It, it's gone. It's gone. Okay, so. Bodic is back. In trouble again. Uh, but Borg has expanded uh, to a huge extent. And Borg will continue to press on. These rams, can they? No, they can't. And this is the the issue with these games is that the territory isn't lost. If this was a, a two-player game, it wouldn't be long before they, those barracks were going um, were going to turn to Gaia, but they're not. And so, after all of that from unknown player, all that happens is he rebuilds the civic centre. Ah, my word. And he's right, the game is way too balanced. Uh, the fact that it's somehow not ended yeah, yet see? is absolutely insane. Unknown players now fallen behind um, Phoenix Desk in population. Valeran is attempting to push out, he's done well to get a large um, amount of cavalry. Yeah, right. Actually, it's not as many as I thought, it looked to be a lot more. It's actually 24. Um, this civic centre is virtually going back up now. Um, where if they're pushing on, it will be incredibly difficult. Do this once. The yeah, so I've now got taunting between for prey and Krustigator. Um, some got a sneak attack going on. Yeah, see? Involving a load of Britain skirmishers of um, Phoenix Desk is actually launching a counter attack here. Um, what else is going on? It's it's just all going on, but there's never quite enough to knock out even one of the players. Phoenix Desk should have been knocked out about a hundred times by now, but hasn't been somehow. Okay, Borg continues to push off. Will Phoenix Desk finally find himself taken out of the game? Or will his merry band of raiders here actually end up causing Borg some problems? Uh, unknown player struggling for population. But he's got... What's he got there? He's got a load of sword cavalry. That's something that I personally like, is having sword cavalry in your um, fortress that way. If got some rams that manage to get through and their supporting soldiers are knocked out then you've got someone that can just pop out and destroy the rams relatively quickly yeah see uh, this is it's quite the fight going on there they're being squeezed like team two is being squeezed horribly and i think if just one of the players were to be knocked out this is a good yeah, These see? guys are just going to be shot from within the civic centre and killed Why they're just trying to take out how that's the end for for that skirmish of run. And I think, surely, this is always going to desperately try and build a fortress. No, it's not his barracks. He's lost so many barracks. Okay, and we've got red uh, for prey. Yeah, He's done very, very well, absolutely right. He's actually on 958 kills now. Camille's on 829. Borg 771. But I think it won't be long before for Prey pushes through the 1000 kills barrier. Are we going to see? There's another fortress has gone up as well as the um, thing. 
now the only siege weapon he can actually has the resources to build is a siege catapult. Come on, Bodica, build us catapult. And get your catapult to start knocking down or knocking through some of these archers. Okay, there's a big push on Valorant again. This Kurostigato is desperately yeah, trying to help out Phoenix Desk, but I don't think it's going to be possible, particularly yeah, for this single um, sword cavalry to defend against that. I think we might finally see the end of Phoenix Desk. This population is down to 51. Things. There's no one trying to rebuild that. Finally, Phoenix Desk must be gone. He's down to 43. This uh, has to be in. And that's it, I think. It looks. Valorant has resigned. Yep. Yeah. Finally. Uh, well. All I can really say to everyone is, yeah, thank you all for watching. That was a really, really interesting game. Although I have to say, unbelievable how long it went on and how even it was. So well done for the, um, with the balancing and with the teams. I thought they were excellent. So thank you to Feldfeld for that. Thanks to Unknown Player and HMS Surprise for um, setting all this up and yeah, uh, hopefully I'll be with you again in a few weeks uh, to do some more commentary, hopefully with slightly less lag. Thanks very much, and adeus to all the Portuguese speakers.